Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here for an awesome shave today, well I hope so, <laughs> using a new razor. Uh, this one was sent to me ages ago um, and I've just been so, you know, flat out, I've just been going to things that I know I enjoy. Um, and So we're going to be experimenting with a new razor today and what that razor is, as you probably know from the title, the Yaki Godzilla razor. This razor is mahoosive. Uh, I'll just put it up next to, say, a Merca 34C. Now, the 34C is a small razor, but look at the handle difference. This is a pretty hefty sort of razor um, weight. Um, this, <laughs> it's over the top, man. This this thing's pretty insane. Um, the Probably the thing I have closest to it is the Home Type 15. Even then, like, it's, it's a... <laughs> Look at that handle, it's massive. Um, so I got that from Yaki as well as, um, these were these were sent to me to review. And also the uh, brush, which is a 24 mil silver tip. Um, in a, again, a really heavy metal handle. Um, it said heavy on the description. I was like, yeah, whatever, it's out of China. It's probably gonna be aluminium. This is heavy. I don't know what type of metal this is, but it's very heavy. So, got these two to use today. Um, the blade I'm going with, if you can see it, I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up. Nah, Pole Silver Wizomets. They come in a packaging like this, and this should be a wicked shave. So, Yaki is sort of an entry level based product. It's a really good way for uh, beginners to come into wet shaving with some really high quality products. Um, now holding them in my hand, you know, it's it's um, it's definitely high quality. Um, is it going to turn me off buying higher end razors? No, I still love the craftsmanship in in um, smaller brands <laughs> and their um, you know, all the stainless steel. It, even things like the Mueller Rocker, I think, are just exquisite. So I, I would still pick those guys over Yaki, but let's give them a chance, eh? So, because they're entry-level based products, I'm going to be using entry-level based software. So we are going Paraso Green, which is probably the closest I've ever been to finishing a soap. You can almost see the bottom there. Oh, nice way to start the morning, a little bit of eucalyptus and menthol. So, for menthol aftershave, we're going Nivea Too Faced. Can't wait to use this. Alright, going to wet the face, just cold water. You may notice that the brush hasn't been soaking. I've been experimenting not soaking brushes and it's actually not making too much of a difference. And I think the difference I'm noticing is only my head. So just cold water, just rinsed on there, flick out the excess. We'll load it for about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, not too long. Don't really need to. I'm only going to be doing two pass shave today. All right. Let's have a little bit of water on the brush. And this silver tip is very soft. It does feel very high quality, I'm not going to lie. Yaki products made in China. Where else do you think all the silver tip knots come from? It's all from China. I think it's something like 98% of all shaving brushes just are the knots come from China. Anything that's not from China, the knots are probably gonna be like $200. <laughs> Brush feels really nice, really nice. Got two and a half days growth. All right. Cool. I'll be getting a haircut today. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best to. All right, 
Yaki Godzilla Razor. Man, this thing's heavy. I can't remember how heavy it is. Pretty sure it's in the two, high 200 gram mark, I think. I'm not too sure. Alrighty. More aggressive than I thought it was going to be. Really nice. It's a, um, assertively aggressive for me. <laughs> it's not the most uh, nimble. Holy crap, it's efficient. <laughs> That's good. I really like this. Got one more Yaki Razor to review, and that is probably my favourite looking one. This real sleek razor. I just like the um, head uh, head design. Real sleek, no overhang or anything. Uh, overhang doesn't bother me, but it's sort of cool whenever I use one that doesn't have any overhang. All right. So yeah, if someone was in, yeah, you know, like a foreign country, this, these are really good to get because the shipping's really okay because huge Chinese company, they don't care about the shipping, they care about the quantity of sales they make. So quite a bit of audible feedback. Because the uh, head is really light and you know, there's a lot of room. because <laughs> so I've cut half of the head off pretty much. Double open comb. It's supposed to allow for superior lather flow through and in turn leave a better residual slickness. I have to say it's doing an all right job with it considering I can feel plenty of residual slickness with Paraso. Not hating on Paraso, but it's not known for incredible residual slickness, but this is <laughs> enhancing it. It's really good. All right, let's apply the second lather. And um, I think I'll just go straight against the grain today. I think I'm feeling pretty confident with this razor, to be honest. I'm not sure if I've ever done a yaki, yaki review. Whoopsie. Smack my water bottle all over the place. All right. It's going to be interesting against the grain holding it upside down. <laughs> Let's hope I don't drop it. It does seem like a razor of drop. It is a little slippery. It's actually, it's not too bad with water on it, but dry, funnily enough, it's actually it feels more slippery. So we'll see. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty effortless for me. That was really easy. I always nick myself up the top here. I don't get the angle right. Just letting you know, because that's not the razor, that's me. I st I'm still very new to going against the grain, so. This has done <laughs> really well, this razor. Um, no wonder these things are getting pretty popular.
I really like the feedback on the razor too. You can feel it and hear it quite well. And that. <laughs> is a really damn close shave. <laughs> wow, that was actually really good. <laughs> so, Yaki Godzilla razor. Awesome, really cool shave. I think the uh, head design was probably copied from PAA, I think. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure PAA did the double open comb before Yaki did it. And I don't, I don't like other companies copying others. At least give the other company recognition, you know, like say, oh, this is based off the tremendous razor from rah, 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 you know. So on that front, not cool. And I remember that also happened with a beer shaped one. That done, Rob did a beer shaped um, brush. And then like literally a week later, they started putting out these beer based brushes. So that, not cool. I don't, I don't enjoy that because you know, all these small artisans are putting in a lot of time and effort and research and development into their products and then they see them get mass produced with no credit whatsoever. So I'm not cool with that, but the quality of the products that Yaki are putting out, really good. <laughs> That's awesome. I'd like, I'm really interested to see what that um, other razor is gonna be like, that slimline one. Um, if it's a little bit milder, then that could be a really good daily shaver. Um, for me, that's perfect because I don't shave every day um, anymore. I was a daily shaver for probably six or eight months, something like that. Oops. Um, but now I'm shaving every couple of days and it makes the um, shaves a little bit more rewarding for me, personally. Um, it was just the um, fact of getting over having a bit of stubble on my face was the hardest part. <laughs> Um, but now I'm really enjoying them and a couple little weepers here once again like I said me going against the grain is very new and I'm still doing it with the razors I really enjoy so not a bad shave at all gonna go the awesome Nivea Too Faced this stuff feels incredible I don't use this much anymore and there is no reason <laughs> all right let's chuck her on Oh yeah, not a lot of burn to be honest. A little bit around here and a little bit up here when I got those little weepers. Overall, immense shave. That was really, really good. Alrighty, that's that done guys. Um, Yaki, um, Yaki products. Yeah, I think they surprised me. That was really good. <laughs> so, razor and brush. Value for money, these are right up there. Really, really cool stuff. Um, personally, uh, again, I st still don't think I would actually buy anything from Yaki just because, you know, huge company, um, they have a couple of copies of smaller brands. I don't enjoy that. That's a little bit disrespectful to me, personally. Um, uh, you know, like my family, we've got a lot of small business owners and I know how much it hurts to a business um, and also you know I've got friends in the shaving community that you know work their ass off <laughs> and if something like that happened I couldn't imagine how angry they would be but yeah like I said like if you want to just buy a cheap very high quality item Yaki are brilliant give them a go buy buy a razor or two um, and just give it a go I think they're really cool um, yeah, <laughs> pretty impressed. Anyway, that's me done. You guys take care, stay safe, stay positive, keep smiling. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.